Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the Relative Strength Index. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a rally over the last few days. Okay, now are we still playing our little sandbox down here? Of course, we're still in our sandbox. That has in fact not changed. Generally speaking, we've been moving between around 41K to around 29K or so over the last you know, month and a half or so, okay? So we remain in our sandbox, but what's interesting is noting where we are in this in the grand scheme of our relative strength index or rsi now a lot of other channels will talk about the rsi all the time especially on, on smaller time frames we're just going to be looking at the rsi on the daily time frame primarily in this video so what i want to show you is the relative strength index here on the daily time frame now what you'll notice is that over here, we were basically putting in lower, or we were putting in higher highs, generally speaking, and higher lows. This was more or less starting from March of 2020 and hitting a major milestone by January of 2021, where the daily RSI was all the way up at around 89, okay, which is a very similar place where it hit back in, in 2019. Now, what's interesting and that some people may may note is that the daily RSI did not hit a maximum or did not hit a local top on the same day that the price of Bitcoin did. The daily RSI had its local top here in January of 2021 at 42K. Now, you might say, well, 64K is a lot higher than when it went up to, to 42K or so. Why would this be higher? Well, remember, it's all relative, and the strength of this move was a lot more impressive than what we saw over here. And when we were over here, we even noted the fact that, okay, we were at, you know, we went to 58K on this first move, and then we, we came back down, and then we went to 61K, and then we came back down, and then we went to 64K. We were technically putting in new all time highs. Technically, we were, but they weren't that impressive new all-time highs, okay? You know, if Bitcoin has already hit $58,000, going to 61K isn't that impressive, or going to 64K from there isn't overly impressive from where the price already was. But going to 42K, basically from, you know, from 10K, without really stopping, I mean, maybe we stopped a little bit at 20K, but even from 20K, this was more than a 2X. So that's why, you know, this is why this here was so much higher because it's the relative strength index. You can obviously look up the formula if you want to know exactly what it is. And it's also, you can change some of the parameters if you want to, or at least the time length on which it's measured. So from here, what we notice is that the relative strength index of Bitcoin on the daily time frame has been putting in lower highs for a while. And so the question then becomes, can Bitcoin break this trend? Okay, can it break this trend and actually go on some, some new trend? Now, the new trend does not have to be, you know, lower highs and higher highs constantly for the next six months. It could just become where it's breaking this trend of, of downward pressure. And the way you draw this line is somewhat subjective. Obviously, it's hard to get it perfect, but you'll notice that it is somewhat decreasing here. So we had this one peak out at just shy of 90. This one was around 80. This one was around 73. This one hit a top at around 67. This one was pretty weak compared to, um, you know, compared to what we had seen. And this was also right before the drop. This one peaked out at around 54. Okay, so right now, the daily RSI is coming in at around 50. So it begs the question, can we break this trend? Can Bitcoin break the trend of putting in lower highs on the daily RSI? Now, 
that's sort of what I'm looking at right now. And again, there's going to be some wiggle room in this because you can draw this line any, you know, any which way you want to. You could draw it like that if you just want to connect these two points and just say these were pretty weak and didn't make it to it. Um, or you could come down and try to connect some of these other points and, and try to, you know, try to get as many on the line as possible. But the point is, is the exact line that you draw is nothing more than a line, than a line on a chart. What's more interesting I think is is looking at the fact that we have in fact been putting in lower highs we've been putting in lower highs and this is a trend we would want to see break before we can get overly bullish about new all-time highs because so far so far again it we've just been dropping down over the last several months from January we've been dropping down and you you you'll also note too that the current RSI coming in at, at 50 is still we're still lower than the last one at 41k. So just a few weeks ago, um, you know, June 15th, just a couple weeks ago, the price of Bitcoin was at $41,000, and it seemed at the time like there was a decent chance that we could that we could move back up. I mean, I, I said I don't anticipate any type of immediate recovery. I think we need longer to chop sideways. We in fact did come back down. Now we're at 36k and everyone's re you know everyone's on the on the line with Forbes okay as always everyone's back on the line with Forbes uh, because we have we have come back up and I don't necessarily think that it's time to schedule the interview on that at this point I think we again we need to be patient we need to see if in fact this trend can be broken a lot of times you know after it breaks the trend you'd like to see it go sideways maybe for a little while um, you know, we, we've seen that many times before. It doesn't necessarily have to go on one of these these crazy runs immediately. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the daily RSI. If you are still sticking around, we can we can at least pull up, say, like the four hour RSI, which you can see is, is generally more or less the same thing, generally decreasing here. Um, and, you know, I don't know how exactly you would prefer to draw. You could draw it a couple of different ways. But you also see that it's it's generally not putting in higher highs, at least not any time recently. So this is also something I think that's worth looking at. You know, if you go over to the weekly time frame, if you go over to the weekly time frame, we have in fact come down significantly, down to around 45 or so. Okay, so the the, the weekly RSI is at is at a level that it hasn't been at since like March or April of, of 2020. So we know that the weekly RSI has just been hammered because of, of all the downward pressure we've had over the last several weeks. Um, and you also would note that we are in fact at a lower level than we were at for most of the last market cycle. Okay, because in the last market cycle, we just kept holding the 20 week as support. Our daily RSI didn't really go below 50, or our weekly RSI didn't really go below 53 once we, once we really geared up and started moving. In 2013, you'll notice the weekly RSI did come back down a bit further. It came all the way down to here. And we're actually even lower than that right now. So I, I think the best way to look at this market is to say, at the very least, at the very least, Bitcoin, and as I've said about a month and a half ago, when we first, when we first had our weekly close below the 20-week SMA over here on May 10th, Bitcoin needs about three to six months in my opinion, at least, of uh, consolidation at, at some of these lower prices, okay? Now, does that mean it has to go to 20K? Does it mean it has to go to 10K? Does it mean it has to go to 5K? No. I personally don't think Bitcoin's ever going to go to 5K again. I, don't, I personally don't think it's ever going to go to 10K again. I would contend that 20K is theoretically in the cards, but it doesn't have to happen. Um, so when I look at this market, when I look at this market, I, you know, I, I continue to be adamant that th this sort of movement over here, where we are below the 20 week SMA, we did not have an immediate V-shaped recovery, is what Bitcoin needs. Whether we go to lower prices or not is somewhat inconsequential in the grand scheme of the, of the market cycle. So three to six months, you know, so far we're about a month and a half in. You know, here's one week, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on our seventh week of, of just sort of chopping away down here. This makes sense to me, okay? It makes sense that we are, you know, we're not overly bullish by any stretch of the imagination. We're still, um, 
you know, from, from the top here, we're still about 45% down below the prior all-time high. Bitcoin is certainly not overly bullish. I would contend as long as it's below the 20-week SMA, things are somewhat bearish. Obviously, some people disagree with that. But regardless, three to six months of consolidation, at the very least, in my opinion, is what is needed in order for Bitcoin to have a, a major move to a six-figure Bitcoin. Um, and, and I think we're seeing this play out right now. I mean, I, we're, we're continuing to more or less chop sideways. Some might say, well, 36K, we're having a major pump. Hey, I mean, we're, we're basically at the, at the lower bound of the price we were a couple weeks ago. So I, I, wouldn't get, I wouldn't get too overexcited yet. Let's wait to see how the next few weeks play out. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the premium list. You can find that at, at intothecryptoverse.com. Remember to subscribe, click the bell icon to turn on your notifications. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.